We just found a robot that runs on water and it already has 279 people lined up to buy it before it's even released. This is Clone Alpha, a humanoid so realistic it moves, learns, and thinks like a human. But here's the crazy part. This thing doesn't use motors. It's got artificial muscles, a hydraulic heart, and a supercomputer brain powered by NVIDIA that lets it learn by just watching you. In this video, we're diving into the wild future of synthetic humans. How these guys copied biology to build the most advanced robot arms on the planet. And why the next chef in your kitchen might not have a pulse. Let's go! Clone Robotics opened pre-orders for their water-powered humanoid robot, Clone Alpha, and boom! 279 pre-orders came flying in faster than your Roomba, running from a toddler. That's right! 279 companies and individuals are now officially first in line for what might be the most terrifyingly realistic synthetic human ever built. And no, this isn't some stiff metal mannequin wobbling around like it's in a school play. Clone Alpha moves like you. Okay, maybe a bit smoother, if we're being honest. Clone Robotics posted videos on social media that went instantly viral. People were floored watching a robot that could walk with a gait so natural you'd swear it just finished leg day at the gym. Its movements mimic the micro-adjustments we humans make without thinking, like walking on gravel or reaching for a glass without shattering it. And no, it doesn't need an oil change. Instead, this thing runs on artificial muscles powered by pressurized water, not servo motors. Social media users are already dreaming big. Some are calling Clone Alpha the future of in-home assistance cleaning, cooking, and folding laundry without judgment. This isn't just a helper bot. It's a biomechanical marvel that might just be the closest thing we've seen to a synthetic human roommate. Let's just hope it doesn't ask for rent. But it might, because it's built so lifelike thanks to the myofiber technology. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video so far. Now, unlike most humanoid robots that rely on clunky motors and loud actuators that sound like a dying printer trying to do yoga, Clone Alpha is built on something far more advanced, myofiber technology. These are soft, water-powered, artificial muscles that behave almost exactly like ours. They contract, relax, and even twitch with lifelike precision giving Clone Alpha the kind of smooth, organic movement you'd expect from a trained athlete or at least someone who goes to the gym more than twice a year. These myofibers can contract by 25% of their length, roughly the same as human muscle, and they can lift 500 times their own weight. That means if one of these fibers was the size of a bicep, it could probably curl your fridge. The contractions are insanely fast, too. Clone Alpha can go from relaxed to full muscle flex in under a second, making its reactions not only realistic but usefully fast. Because these fibers are fluid-driven, they're quiet, safe, and compact. No more Terminator-like clanking around the house, Clone Alpha can move with ninja-level silence while mimicking everything from a handshake to a backflip. Compared to the competition, it's like upgrading from a wind-up toy to an Olympic gymnast. But if we really get down to it, the only way humanoid robotics could ever work is if we mimic nature. Robots trying to ignore biology are like someone trying to reinvent the wheel but making it square because it's edgy. Nature has already done the hard work over millions of years, perfecting the way living things move, adapt, and survive. So if you're building a humanoid robot that's supposed to operate in our world, walking stairs, opening doors, doing the dishes, you can't just strap some metal rods to a battery and call it a day. You need to think like biology. And that's exactly what Clone Robotics gets. They're not slapping on metal arms and hoping for the best. They're literally copying the way our muscles move, our joints flex, and even how we balance ourselves when we almost trip but pretend it was part of the dance. It's not just clever, it's the only way forward. And so far, Clone is nailing the assignment like it cheated off Mother Nature's homework. And to make all of these water-powered muscle fibers work and integrate seamlessly, Clone Robotics uses a hydraulic pump, which acts as the heart of the robot. At the center of Clone Alpha's incredible movement is a custom-built hydraulic pump 
that works just like a human heart if your heart were made in a robotics lab and could bench press a Buick. This pump pushes water through the robot's artificial muscles, just like how your heart pumps blood through your veins. When the pump pulses, the myofibers contract. When it relaxes, they release. Simple, right? Except it's not, because designing this thing was like trying to reinvent biology with a wrench and a PhD. Clone Robotics engineered this mini hydraulic heart to deliver over 1.2 liters of water per minute at pressures up to 6.9 megapascals, which is just a fancy way of saying it's incredibly powerful for its size. It's compact, efficient, and fast enough to simulate real muscle contractions in less than a second. And here's the best part. It's silent. No buzzing, no grinding, no R2-D2 having a bad day noises. Just smooth, fluid movement. They spent months designing this pump from scratch because nothing off the shelf could handle the precision or speed needed. Electric motors were too jerky. Pneumatics were too bulky. But water? Nature already proved it works, so clone robotics went with the flow, literally. And the result is a robot that doesn't just move like a human, it lives like one, hydraulically speaking. But to put all of that together, they needed to use a powerful chip that acts as the brain of Clone Alpha. Now, you didn't think Clone Alpha was all muscle and no brain, did you? This robot isn't just flexing on us, it's thinking, fast. At the core of its brain power is NVIDIA's Jetson Thor, a beast of a GPU that sounds like it should come with a cape and a hammer. This chip powers Clone Robotics' latest Cybernet model, basically the robot's nervous system, visual cortex, and inner ear rolled into one terrifyingly smart processor. So, what does Jetson Thor actually do? It crunches data from cameras, sensors, and proprioceptive feedback faster than you can say synthetic superhuman. Clone Alpha has a suite of cameras and internal sensors feeding real-time information to Thor, allowing it to know exactly where its arms, legs, and probably even its synthetic pinky toe are at any moment. It can track its limbs in 3D space with sub-millimeter accuracy. That's more awareness than most people have before coffee. And thanks to Jetson Thor's AI muscle, Clone Alpha can process visual feedback to identify objects, understand environments, and learn from observation. Yes, learn. Like watching you fold laundry once and then doing it better, faster, and without passive-aggressively sighing. That's the power of combining hydraulic muscles with silicon smarts. Clone Alpha isn't just reacting, it's adapting in real time. And speaking of adapting in real time, the two co-founders of Clone Robotics had to do precisely that in order to build this unique, futuristic Clone Alpha. In a recent interview, Danush Radhakrishnan, the CEO of Clone Robotics, gave us a behind-the-scenes peek at how all this futuristic magic came together. Turns out, this wasn't some overnight tech miracle. Danish and co-founder Lucas Koslick have been obsessed with cracking the code of human movement since 2014. That's over a decade of trying to teach machines to move like us without looking like malfunctioning mannequins. And instead of starting simple, like building a blinking robot or one that just waves, they said, let's make arms, the hardest part of the human body to replicate. Because why not go for the boss level first? And oh boy, did they deliver. Clone Alpha's arms aren't just fancy sticks with hinges, they're built with the same complexity as your own. Human arms use over 50 muscles and tendons to grip, twist, and point at things dramatically. Clone Robotics mimicked that same anatomical dance using hydraulic myofibers, pressure sensors, and some disturbingly lifelike movement. The fingers? They can curl, flex, and pinch with almost the same control and force as a real human hand, enough to hold a raw egg without turning it into an omelet. Danush and Lucas didn't just build robot arms, they built a mechanical masterpiece that can thread a needle or toss a basketball, sometimes better than you. And all of it started with two guys and one big idea, build the hands first and the rest will follow. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time. 